Hi everybody, it's Karen, and I'm here today to share with you a quick little tutorial on how to make these really great beads out of paper. So let's talk about what we're gonna need for this particular project. I'm working with this beautiful piece of paper. This is from the Echo Park Style Essentials Upscale Collection. You're also gonna need a little, something to roll with. So you can use a toothpick or a piece of copper wire would be fine. Even the inside of a pen would work. Just something with a small diameter that you can be able to roll around. You're gonna need a ruler and a pen. You're going to need an adhesive. Mod Podge works great or watered down uh, white glue. This happens to be some ultra thick embossing powder. And then we also need some embossing ink for this technique. Okay, so let's get going. What I've got here, we're going to just be making these little half inch uh, round beads. And basically you can create all sorts of different bead shapes with this same technique, but I'm just going to show you how to make these little ones. So I'm just taking my ruler here and just on the edge of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, I'm just marking every half an inch. And this is going to be basically the length of my beads. So I'm just going to do that on one end. And on the other end, what I'm going to do is to create a triangular shape. I'm actually going to start at the quarter inch mark and then from there go every half an inch. What this is going to do is just give me a midpoint to the other end of the paper so that I can just draw some triangular shapes here across the length of this piece of paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my first half inch mark on this side and I'm going to match it up with that half inch mark that was started over here one quarter of an inch in. So there we go. Now I'm just going to move the bottom of my ruler over to the next mark. So I kept it the same place at the top and moved the bottom. Now I'm going to keep it at the same place on the bottom and move the top just so that I use up all of my paper and get these alternating triangular shapes. Let's see if I can hold it up here. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it on this color of paper, but there are basically some triangular shapes there on my paper. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut those triangular shapes and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so the next step, this is kind of the fun step, is to do the rolling. This is actually going to form your paper bead shape. So you just take your triangular piece of paper that you've created or you've cut out and around a piece of copper wire or a toothpick or the inside of a pen, the part that holds the ink, just basically start rolling up your paper. You want it to be really tight. So through kind of, I've got just holding the top edge through my fingers here and that keeps it nice and tight as I'm rolling it up. You just keep going, just make sure that your paper is nice and straight so that it evenly rolls just because it's tapered and you want it to be even on both sides. But again, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it, just unroll it and, and try again. We haven't glued anything down yet. Once you're about three inches from the edge, just open up your adhesive and just using your finger or paintbrush or something like that. Just apply a nice thin even coat to the edge here and then go back and just continue rolling up. Make sure you don't put too much adhesive on otherwise it'll squeeze out the sides um, but you do want to make sure you get nice even coverage and there we go. There we've got our bead shape. I'll just add the rest of this adhesive just to the edge here to make sure it stays down but basically our bead shape is now all completed. Now I'm going to show you how to finish it up so we make them nice and glossy. The last step is actually totally optional. You already have your paper bead shape, but one of the things I like to do is make it a little bit glossy. So I'm just taking some ultra thick embossing powder and some embossing ink to apply just a nice little shiny layer over the top of my bead. So all I'm doing is I've got it on a toothpick here and I'm just going to roll it into the embossing ink, making sure I get all the little edges, all the tapered sides of my bead. And then I'm just going to open up my embossing powder and I'm just going to dip it right into the embossing powder just like that. It's really easy. Then take your heat gun and slowly while you're heating this up, what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn the bead on the toothpick as I'm heating it up. And the reason for that is simply that if you heat up your embossing powder on your bead without turning it, it will actually start to drip off of the sides and you won't get a very even look. Uh, to the shiny coating of your bead. So if you rotate it and do this really slowly, then you get a nice even sheen on the edge of the bead there. So we'll just go like this. Now I like a really thick layer, so while this is still wet, I'm just going to go back in and dip it back into the embossing powder, and then I'm just going to heat up my second layer. Now again, be really careful that you're rotating it here. You have quite a thick um, coating of the embossing powder on here now, so you don't want it to get that drippy look as you're working with it. So keep rotating it slowly. 
Now there's all sorts of other ways that you could do this as well. You could use some glossy accents and just kind of paint that on, some Mod Podge, some of the glossy Mod Podge. And all of those techniques work equally well. The reason I like this one is because as soon as I turn off this heat gun and wait just a few seconds, it's going to be dry and I can handle it and work on my project. And I tend to be a little bit impatient. Um, so I just like the quick drying aspect of this technique to make it a little bit glossy. So there you go. Um, you can see I'm just rotating it a little bit more just as it dries here. If you only put one layer on, you don't have to wait quite this long till it dries. Um, it will go a lot quicker if you have just one thin layer. So I'm just going to kind of pop it off now. Whoops, there it goes. Just move this out of the way. And you can see it's already dry and I already have this beautiful glossy bead that I can work with on a craft project. So I hope you found some inspiration for this project today and use some beautiful Echo Park paper to make some beads for embellishments on cards or layouts or even a necklace or bracelet or a purse like I made today. Thanks for stopping by.